Hi, my name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bowtie Gourmet. What do you call chickens that cross the road? Poultry in motion, of course. Today, I'm going to make one of our new favorites. It is chicken pot pie casserole. It is to die for. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get to cooking. All right, gang, you're gonna start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. Next, you're gonna take one large potato that you've peeled and diced and two large carrots that you've peeled and diced and you're gonna add it to a pot. And then to that, you're gonna add one 12 ounce bag of frozen peas. After that, you're gonna take one of those cans of chicken stock and add it to the pot. Then you're gonna take the pot over to the sink and fill it with enough water to cover the vegetables. Then you're gonna put the pot on the stove and bring it up to a boil and boil the vegetables for about 15 minutes. While the vegetables are boiling, you're gonna take a large saute pan and melt some butter, and then you're gonna dice up an onion and saute it until it's nice and translucent. Then we're gonna add some seasoning. We're gonna add one half teaspoon of salt, one quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then one quarter teaspoon of celery salt. Then we're going to mix in one third of a cup of all purpose flour and we're just going to mix it in and that's going to create kind of like a roux. Then we're going to take the second can of chicken stock and we're going to add it in just gradually and stir to combine. Then we'll add in two thirds of a cup of milk gradually. And then we're just gonna cook that until it thickens up. Once our sauce is thickened, we're going to take that can of cream of chicken soup and we're going to add it to our sauce and then we're just going to stir it until it's combined. So our vegetables have been boiling for about 15 minutes and what we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the sink and drain it in a colander. Now it's time to make the filling. 
We're going to take our vegetables and put them back into the pot that we've taken off of the heat. And to that, we're going to add about one and a half pounds of chicken that we roasted and diced up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that sauce that we made earlier and we're going to add it into the pot and just give it a nice mix. So you could take this filling and you could put it in a pie crust in a pie plate or in some ramekins for a more traditional chicken pot pie. But what I like to do is take it and put it in a casserole dish and make it into a chicken pot pie casserole. Now it's time to cover this bad boy up. We're gonna take two pre-made pie shells and we're gonna take one and spread it over half of the casserole and then we're gonna take the other one and spread it over the other half of the casserole and just meet it in the middle and give it a just a nice little crimp on all the edges. Now it's time to put it in the oven. We're going to let this bake for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we're going to take the pot pie out of the oven and let it cool for about 10 minutes before serving. And there you have it, a simple and easy chicken pot pie casserole. It's the bee's knees. Your family is gonna love it. This chicken pot pie is so good, it is like poultry in motion. My name is Paul Scott Black, and I am the Bow Tie Gourmet. Please subscribe to my channel to see future videos. Click, share, and like videos. Please remember, you can be somebody's superhero just by cooking them a great meal. Thanks.